Welcome back in the fans. Today we're off to Fratton Park, Oxford at home. Um, massive game today. I said this last week that we were going to go down to Charlton and Frasham. We obviously didn't. Um, but today I really think we will. I'm going to say 3-0 Pompey. What about you, Mush? Yeah, massive game. Um, probably the biggest game of the season, I would say, now, so far. Um, hardest one to call, I think, score. Uh, I think their for if you look at their form, we should go out there and win. But they're a bogey side, aren't they? They're a good side. I think if we can get an early goal, we'll win easy. But I don't I don't know what to predict the day. I'm gonna go two one last minute winner and I'm gonna throw in a Will Norris penalty save. Who's on the Wall of Fame today then, Mush? Wall of Fame today. Uh he should be up really. He played over hundred and fifty games for us. Um but he's not in any of the photos. Six years at Pompey, good centre half. Uh had a loan spell at Oxford where he played three games. Today is Guy Butters. Steve and Colin, what's the score going to be today? 3 1 Pompey. 2 1 Pompey. <laughs> Gary and Karen, what's the score going to be today? I would say 2 1 Portsmouth, sadly. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Hopefully we'll get a draw. I'm here with Lauren and Jack. What's the score going to be today? 2 1 Pompey. Absolutely. Go in. 3 1 Pompey. Three. John and Jeff, what's the score going to be today? That's a good question. <laughs> if, if we score first, we're with a chance. The way we've been playing, it's going to be a bit iffy. i got a feeling we're going to lose to you today. And I hope, hope we don't, but I think it might be 2-1 to you. Drew at Cholton last week. Would you keep the same team or would you switch it up a little bit? I would have kept the same team. The te yeah, the team needs to just come out and he's, he's dropped Mox into the bench for Pat Harris. But Moxon's on uh, cut, you know, a couple of bookings away from a suspension, isn't he? So I can kind of understand it. So Ogilvy's still fit because there was a chance that he was going to be out, wasn't there? So, yeah, all good. Yeah, all good. Yeah. yeah, I agree with all that. And I think we'll be too strong for Oxford today. I've read on some social platforms that there's a bit of unrest with your fans about the manager. What's your views on that? Well, the manager doesn't go out there and kick the ball. Um, he could give a little bit better direction, I think. But I think it's down to the players to take ownership of this and, uh, and put in the performances that their skills merit, frankly. Would you keep the same team from last week at Cholton or would you change it up a bit? Uh, probably the same team. I heard about um, Mazzinho wanting to play Colby and uh, Yangi at the same time. I don't know if he's going to do that, but I think that could be a decent idea. <laughs> you weren't going to ask me any questions. <laughs> At the start of the season, when you had Liam Manning uh, as manager, you were quite up there with us. Um, since he's left, you've dropped off a little bit. Do you still think you make the playoffs? Um, look, it's going to take, I think, we've got 11 games left. It's going to take us seven wins out of those 11. So we're away at Portsmouth and away at Bolton. So you could actually argue... Yeah, well, we'd love to. But uh, you could argue we can get nothing out of those. So that gives us seven wins out of nine to get. And which I think is a bit of a tall order, frankly. Who would your top five players be for the Art Muriel Street? Oh, what, of all time? Jamal Lowe was one of them, wasn't that? Yeah, yeah Jamal Lowe. Uh, if we're going from Prem, like uh, Jermaine Defoe, Peter Crouch, maybe. Uh, I don't know, yeah, that's the top three. That's a long time, I'm and finally, a long time. He was my favourite. One more, one more. Can, we say, can we get Mark Haley? Who? Mark Haley? Yeah, good. That's five. Um, and obviously, at the start of the season, uh, Liam Manning was your manager. You were up, you were up there with us, competing yeah. for the top two. We were. But yeah. since he's left, you've kind of dropped off a bit. Do you still think you make the playoffs? No, no, <laughs> no and that's honest. We've dropped off too far. I mean, if we're going to make the playoffs, we've got to beat you today, and yeah. I can't see that. Yeah, can. But I'm hoping we will. But you never know. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> and um Messino might have an off day. Yeah. <laughs> and um <laughs> Mr. Buckingham might have a good one. <laughs> Street Art Muriel, who would your top five players be? Oh dear. Jimmy Dickinson, Jimmy Dickinson. uh Robert Prosinetsky, yeah. George Lay, yeah. David No, David Kemp yeah. and um Yakubu. Yeah, Jimmy Dickinson is a is a must. I would go Alan Knight. I would go Paul Merson for that yeah. one see that magnificent season. 
Um, who else did I choose? I, I, I submitted it as well. Um, oh, I went for Christian Burgess. Yeah. For you know that, that promotion winning side, and um, what my, probably my favourite player growing up was Guy Whittingham. Today's player profile is our Super Scouts right back, Joe Rafferty. Joe Rafferty, player profile. Um, you've been at the club a few years, but um, what's the favourite standout game you've played in? Oh, that's a good one, um, Maybe, Maybe Bolton at home this season. That was a good game. Done really well. Yeah, that was a good one. Pick a card. Um, what's been your best moment in football so far? Best moment so far? Um, I got promotion with Rochdale. It was a long time ago, but that was really good. So, what more of the same this season? And uh, what's the favorite? What's your favorite stadium you've played in or been to? Oh, that's an easy one. Wembley. Um, play, played at Wembley in the FA Cup against Tottenham. That was a good game. Um, have you ever been late for training? Never. Never. Always early. And uh, what's your favourite food and drink? Oh, um, I like a good lasagna for food. Um, and for drink, um, so <laughs> um, I just, I just, I just like Coca Cola sometimes. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a cheat there. Yeah. Nice. And can we get a pumpy in it? Yeah, pumpy in it. Cheers, Joe. <laughs> Cheers, mate. What a start! Callum Lang loves to score against Oxford! There's always an early goal of Brian when we play Oxford! Come on! One of them will be Callum Lang!
Callum Lang, another goal today, and what a powerful one it was because the keeper couldn't hold it. Yeah, I think he, I think he helped me out a tiny bit, but uh, I'll take it. It was a good start and just a good job we got the win. And obviously, when you scored so early on, did you think the floodgates were going to open? Yeah, I think uh, you know it's a, they're, they're a tough side to play against. It, it was like that the same the other game as well. So uh, just to come away from with a win is the most important, really. So we'll take that. And just answered um, Oxford. They are a very strong team. So win here against them is good three points. Ten to go. What's dressing room like? Yeah, bouncing in there. To be fair, we've got a lot of tough games coming up, and t today was one of them. So to come away with three points is the most important. And uh, we just need to keep it going game by game. We have Pompey in it. Pompey in it. Cheers, Callum. Bye, Jen. Thank yeah. you. See Thanks. you next week. Christian Shady, first league goal of the season. What a time to get it. Yeah, very good time to get it, yeah. And uh, what a win it was to say seven clear at the top. Yeah, very good win. And um, obviously from the time you got the ball running towards the front end, from our point of view, it looked like you are in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> but was was the goal getting bigger and bigger or smaller and smaller? Uh, I actually can't remember. I can't remember. I actually can't remember. I think... Yeah, just me running yeah, off and celebrating. Yeah, 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 exactly that. And Kriya Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Cheers, Christian. You're welcome. Uh, see you next week. Can we get Pompey in it? Can we what? Get Pompey in it. So you've told us you're fans of Pomp of our channel, so can we get Pompey in it? Oh, it's Pompey in it, Mush. Yeah, Pompey in it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Brilliant. Enjoy Thank you very aim. much. Yes, can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. <laughs> Pompey in it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it. Pompey in it. And can we get Pompey in it? Pompey what? In it. So you say Pompey in it or like, uh, come on you yellows. We'll have a bit of that. Come on you yellows, boy. I'm not a yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yellow. Can we get Pompey in it? Pompey, no, Pompey's out of it. No, what a win! What, what a, a game win. that was, wasn't it? Oh, oh brilliant! Man. Come on, ten to go. Ten games to go. I don't know what to say. I mean, the first fifteen, like we said at half time, the first fifteen twenty minutes was just action packed. Penalty, two goals. I thought it was a really good game of football. Um, it was one that edge on the edge of your seat, didn't oh, it? I know, yeah. Uh, I didn't think. We were going to get the win at one point. I did call the penalty and I think I called the score right, didn't I? I yes. think Will saved it. Then he got his hand to it. <laughs> <laughs> the referee at times ruined a good game, but then the the one bit, he let it flow, didn't he? He played the advantage and I mean, Sadie scored. He made, he made two good decisions, which was playing the advantage so Sadie could go on and obviously score the winning goal and also the penalty. You, you can't argue with that. It yeah, was a it was definite a penalty. penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I think the referee made a lot of wrong decisions yeah, today. Yeah, probably, but it doesn't matter, does it? Don't doesn't matter. Refs. No. Um, They're doing their job to the best of their ability. Very good. Um, Sadie's first league goal, and you didn't get it on film. <laughs> I'm sorry. It went all blurred, didn't it? I'm sorry, Christian. I'm sorry, all of you. It just went blurry just at the wrong time, really. Yeah, it went Un Unfortunately. Um, yeah. But what a goal, wasn't it? Brilliant. Yeah. One through, didn't it? Great. Um, it was like slow motion, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Seven wins, I think, is all we need. 21 oh. points so i hope you like today's video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next saturday for blackpool away